Hey guys, change of scenery today. You might have noticed I'm not in my car and I'm not in the middle school pickup line for once. I'm actually in a hotel room in Boise, Idaho, having a little vacation. Uh, I had a few minutes alone by myself and I thought I'm gonna make you guys a quick video and tell you what's on my mind. So you guys are on my mind and 20 time is on my mind. So if you followed the blog from last spring, you know that I used the passion project 20 time and I led the students through that project and I learned to play the ukulele. So we're doing it again. We actually start in about a week and I've been like racking my brain. What do I want my new 20 time project to be? Cause the teacher does one too. And I thought, well, I could learn conversational Spanish, which is definitely one of my bucket list things. It's important to me to do that. But really what I think I've decided I want to do is build stuff for you guys. So I'm going to launch a 10 to 12 part video series on classroom management. So I get a ton of emails from folks and especially new teachers and often they're wondering about kind of how I run the show and what rules I set up and why and classroom management is on their mind because if you can iron if you can get that like knocked down then the real learning starts. So the series is going to basically address how I do things. It's not like the best way to do things for everyone. It's just basically stuff I've learned over the last 18 years that works for me. So I'm going to kind of pull back the curtain and I'm going to call it Randazzo's Rules of Order and just, you know, in chunky parts kind of knock out why I do what I do and um, answer any questions that come up. I feel like it's super important that we keep a realistic expectation on ourselves as teachers. Society has this like crazy idea that we are like, you know, the superhero savior of the kids and Hollywood definitely propagates this idea. But when we think about it, we really shouldn't have to give up our whole lives to help our students. I love the Jaime Escalante story from Stand and Deliver. That's the film version. He is an amazing teacher and had such an impact on those kids with their calculus. But he worked himself into a heart attack to make it happen. And Erin Gruel, the freedom writer lady, um, she was really only in the classroom for four years before she went to the university level. And she got divorced in the middle of her public school working um, and worked like two part-time jobs to help pay her bills and to be able to buy materials for her kids. And I just think it shouldn't be that way. Um, oh, Mr. Keating, oh, Mr. Keating from Dead Poet Society kind of gave up a love affair with some really cute English hottie to live in a tiny little like apartment hovel at the boys prep school. You know, and I just wonder why do we have to sacrifice everything? We don't, and I don't. I have tons of time to build stuff for you guys, to be a wife, to be a mom, to be a friend. Um, we can make that happen, and I'm gonna show you how I run my classroom to kind of help regain my life and so I can leave at a reasonable time. If you have any specific ideas or you know a scenario that you're facing, you can email me or leave it in the comments and I'll weave it into the web series. And also give me grace because with 20 time, we set big, hairy, audacious goals and then we work toward them. So the 10 to 12 episodes in the spring semester is my big crazy goal and I'm gonna work toward it and if I get close, Hopefully that'll be good enough. Um, hopefully I'll get there and answer everything, but we'll sort of see how it goes. I tend to kind of overcommit myself sometimes. So I'm gonna take it slow and see how it goes. So that's it for me. Uh, time to go put on my down jacket, my thermal underwear and go out into the snow. You guys have a great week at school. I'll see you next time, bye.